Live from NPR News, I'm Jack Spear. Parler, the alternative social network popular with far-right conservatives and extremists, has returned to the Internet. NPR Shannon Bond reports the site was forced offline in January after the Capitol insurrection. Parler says its relaunch site is built on, quote, sustainable, independent technology and that it's not reliant on big tech. Parler advertises itself as a free speech network with few rules. It's attracted supporters of former President Donald Trump. But after the Capitol attack, Amazon Web Services stopped hosting Parler and Apple and Google booted it from their app stores. The tech companies, which are NPR financial supporters, said Parler failed to remove posts encouraging violence. For now, Parler says only current users can use its platform. New members can join next week. It's also looking for a new chief executive. Its last CEO was fired after clashing with conservative donor Rebecca Mercer over how the site should be run. Shannon Bond, NPR News. Former President Trump could still face legal repercussions for his role in the deadly insurrection at the Capitol building. NPR's Windsor Johnson reports even though the Senate has voted to acquit Trump, he could be tried for civil or criminal charges related to the January 6th riot in the nation's capital. Prosecutors in Washington, D.C. would still face the challenge of proving that Trump intentionally incited the attack. But Michael McConnell, director of the National Constitutional Law Center at Stanford, says that could be easier this time around. What's going to be different is the D.A. is going to be able to subpoena witnesses, do a much more uh, careful and extensive job of finding out uh, all the evidence. House impeachment managers made an 11th hour decision not to call witnesses during the Senate trial. Prosecutors in Washington, D.C. have charged more than 200 people in the Capitol riot, including some conspiracy cases against individuals who claim they acted at Trump's direction. Windsor Johnston, NPR News, Washington. A frigid 